it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today we have another deep dive video. And today we are doing a deep dive into specialty materials Deco Sparkle. Now, if you're not familiar with what Deco Sparkle is, it is one of the holographic vinyls. Now, this is specialties brand but we are going to be jumping into some other brands soon um, we are going to work with Arteza and if I can find the Dollar Tree vinyl we are going to do that as well and before we jump into it I did want to say that the Deco Sparkle is our sale this week so it is 30% off on our website now from January 21st through well tomorrow through January 27th 2021 okay so what Deco Sparkle is, I have one color over here, is it is a holographic film that creates a shimmering rainbow color effects. It's dimensionally stable, durable, and weeds easily. It's great for creating a 3D rhinestone look. It has a pressure sensitive carrier that enables easy weeding and repositioning. This, there's a tech tip here that says you can create faux rhinestones using the Deco Sparkle for a look that lasts longer than regular rhinestones. So if you have like the rhinestone feature like in your silhouette, you can cut the circles in this and then it looks like rhinestones without being like having to glue on rhinestones. Okay, so the acceptable fabrics that this material will go on is cotton, uncoated polyester, fabric blends, and linen. This does not go on nylon. So typically what they mean by fabric blends is something that is like either mainly cotton, mainly linen, or mainly polyester. You know, those types of things. But I always recommend to double check, you know, do a heat test, do a test in a small area if it's not a fabric that you've used before. So this comes in 19 and a half inch widths only. So that is this size. This one's 12 inches and you can get them in rolls as well. So it's available in 15 inch or 15 foot, 30 foot, 45 foot, 60 foot, 90 foot, and 162 foot rolls. Now, this is three to four mils thick, so it is about the same thickness as the Thermoflex Plus, but it is a little bit more plasticky, I will be honest with you. Okay, special precautions. This fabric does not layer and it does not stretch, so it has no give to it whatsoever. And if you accidentally iron it or crease it, it will stay creased. It's just that type of material. Okay, so the blade that's recommended for it is a 45 degree blade. So that's your standard cut blade. You're gonna wanna mirror this just like most HTVs. You heat it on 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to want to apply it with firm to medium, medium to firm, even pressure. You'll apply it for 10 to 12 seconds. You'll want to wait till it's cool or cold to peel off the clear plastic layer. Now, wash inside out, cold water, gentle cycle, tumble dry on low. So don't put this in your dryer on high heat. I would recommend probably actually hang dry in this and it is suitable for dry cleaning. Now it says test on dazzle cloth, which is that super shiny polyester material and other moisture, moisture wicking polyester. Moisture wicking materials have better adhesion when washed and dried using no fabric softener or blotted with rubbing alcohol before pressing. Be advised dye migration has occurred with low energy dyes in polyester and poly blend fabrics. So this is the available colors that it comes in. So there are 24 different colors, so I'll try to show them to you. There's rainbow, round multi. So the rainbow is like a flat panel of rainbow. So it's like this, but a gradient rainbow pattern. Then we have round multi, which are like colorful dots on a silver, on a gold background. And then we have round multi silver, which is the same colorful dots, but it's got a silver background. There's royal blue, violet, fuchsia, dark pink, 
I'm trying to make sure you can see these because they're gorgeous. Orange, aqua, sky blue, navy blue, brown, crystal fuchsia. So as you can see, the crystal ones have like a bigger chunk in them. See what I mean? It has a much bigger pattern in it. Crystal silver, crystal gold. We have spectrum, which is like a smooth holographic. So it's more of what you're thinking of when you see a holographic where it's like a smooth sheet of it. Red, black, purple, silver, gold, pink, green, and blue. So they're very, very beautiful colors. And we are going to use the silver today. We are also gonna use, this is a color tone tie-dyed shirt. This is like an acid wash color and it's like a burgundy with navy. It's really kind of pretty. Um, but we're gonna do a full tutorial. You'll also need a Teflon sheet and your easy weed and wooden pick. Now, if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over how to make this. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have Corel Draw open. So we are going to work on a basic text design, but this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna show you how to play with some text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the text tool right there, and I'm going to type out my design. Now I have caps locked on because I want all of the text to be in caps. Okay, so we're gonna type out believe there, Oop. is good in the world. Okay, so I have it all typed out the way that I want it to. Okay, so now I'm going to take and go over here to the pointer tool. I want to select and make my design bold. And then I'm going to change the size of my design to be 10.5 inches wide, okay? Very simple, easy to do. Now, one of the things I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and break the artistic text apart, and you'll see why. So each line, so now everything is its own line. So, I accidentally broke that one apart. Don't need to do that. So see now each line is its own text. So I want to make this one 10.5, okay. Again, 10.5 and 10.5. Okay, so now I'm going to select everything. I'm gonna go up here to objects, align, align centers horizontally. So now everything looks good the way that I want. And this is just a very basic aerial text. Now I'm gonna come down here, oh, first, I want to go ahead and finish breaking the artistic text apart. So that makes, everything into individual letters. So I have to do it in stages. So each word and each line has to be broke apart. So it's not hard to do, it's just doing it. But there we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so now everything is separate and its own individual letters. So I can select like individual letters, okay? Now I'm going to take and select it all again. I'm going to go to object, convert to curves. So now this is no longer a text document. So this isn't, I can't go back and change the text. Now these are ready to be cut. So now what I wanna do is I wanna select the whole thing. I want to add an outline. So I'm gonna choose a four point outline behind fill and scale with object. So as you can see, it makes it a little bit bolder, okay? 
So now I'm going to select certain portions and make the fill in these to be clear. So that way you can kind of see that there's like a twofer with this design. There we go. And last but not least. Okay. There we go. So So now you can see it says, be the good or believe there is good in the world. So we like that. So now what we want to do is I want to go ahead and select everything. I'm going to go up here to object and convert object to outline or outline to object. So instead of it actually being an outline anymore, it is its own object. So if I grab like the G, you can see that now it is two separate pieces. Okay. Now I'm going to take and select everything and we are going to choose trim. Okay, now I want to go ahead and weld everything together. So now everything is ready to be cut. So now this is all one piece. So now I'm going to go up here to file, save as, okay not save as, I need to export it. File, export, and we're gonna do be the good. Select export, there we go. Perfect, select okay. Now we're gonna go down here to Cricut Design Space, click upload, upload image, Browse, okay. Now we're gonna choose the Be the Good file, select Open. Oh, you know what I did? I just saved it, it was the wrong thing. So let's go back. Let's go down here to Corel Draw, File, Export. Be the Good. I saved it as a JPEG, and we're going to export it as an SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic. But you can also choose to save it as like a DXP or whatever type of file that you need for your vector program. Select export, and okay. Now we're gonna go down here to Cricut Design Space, click Browse, go to Quick Access, and we're gonna choose the Be the Good file. There we go. I'm not sure what happened with the B. Let's see, what did you do? Let's go to file export. Let's look at what it is doing. No issues. Sometimes Cricut does this, it's okay. Okay, click save. Insert image. Okay. So everything looks pretty good at this point other than our B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to text Type in a B, I'm gonna choose Arial. Okay. We're gonna choose Bold. Okay, hold on, let's move this where we can see it.
almost perfect. And sometimes you kind of got to go do this. I don't know why sometimes some programs and words have issues, but it does. But it's okay, as I said. Okay, now I'm going to choose both of those. Shift it and weld it. So now we're ready to go. Now we're going to choose make it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I need to go back because part of the thing is this is oversized now. I need to change this down to 10.5. There we go. Go to make it. Since we are cutting this in HTV, we are going to go ahead and mirror it. And I know some of this stuff, you're probably like, why did you show us how to fix that? Because if you have issues, sometimes you've got to know how to fix it on your own. Okay, give me a second to go turn on the Cricut. Okie dokie, so I had to go change and turn on the Cricut. So we are going to use the premium holographic vinyl setting because this is a thicker material. Um, but it is still a standard regular blade, just like you normally use. And typically on your silhouette, there is settings in there, but you're going to want to cut it on like a three or four. So we're going to send this to cut. And then when we come back, we'll show you how to put the shirt together. So as you can see, I have my vinyl laid out. So we're going to start by weeding it. So this is a very easy material to work with and to weed. So, I mean, as you can see, it's really not anything super difficult. Trying to make it where you can see everything too. I adjusted lots of things, so I'm trying to make sure everything looks good on my end for y'all to see everything so it's kind of difficult especially since i moved everything around so there we go now this vinyl as you can see as i'm weeding it it does tear pretty easily so you'll want to be careful when weeding it for that aspect of it, but for the most part, it's not something that's going to affect what you're doing. I mean, it's just not super hard to work with. So, there we go. Almost finished. Well, no, we're not almost finished because we actually have a lot of little inner letters to do. So, had to go throw that away. So let's go ahead and get our weeding done. So I know some people are like, I don't want to see weeding. Other people are like, show me all the weeding. So it's kind of difficult because I want to show what y'all want to see. Now, the only part that I really don't show every time is the cutting portion, and that's just because it's loud, and once you load it, there's really not much you do. You know what I'm saying? Once you learn to load it, it's just not hard. So, just got to finish weeding this. turn this where I can see it. I'm a blind girl. Sorry. I really am. I am considered to be legally blind in my right eye. So you can see the lines, but they are a little bit difficult. I mean, not really, but 
if you've got good lighting because I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is, you can see where the cut marks are. Just sometimes it's harder to do. And I could have done part of this, but I want you all to see how long this takes as well. And part of the thing too is my under thing is not firm. It's kind of squishy, this pad underneath that's on my heat press. So. And if you see anything like this, you see how it ripped right there, but since it doesn't have that white layer, you don't have to worry about it. The white layer is what holds it to the shirt. So if you have pieces like that, it's not going to mess up your shirt, just so you know. We're almost there. Not really, but we're getting there. There we go. Okay. Halfway through with the weeding. Wouldn't that be correct? Yeah, because we've got two lines left of text. Goodness gracious me, oh my. But as I said, I will show you whatever you want to see. So we're kind of just working with both lines at the same time. Okay, Cameron's gonna have a filled day because he's gonna have to clean up all these letters that are over here on the floor when I'm finished. He's gonna hate me. No, he won't, but it's part of what he gets paid to do. We are almost there. Almost there. But I figured this would look really good on a darker colored shirt. And I didn't really want to mess with a black or anything like that. So I chose the color tone. But you see how pretty that is and how well it catches the light. So we're going to move this out of the way. We're going to load the shirt onto the heat press. And again, this is a color tone shirt. So this is a tie dyed shirt. I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to load it all the way on. Then we're going to pull it back to where the collar is right off the edge. Okay, now I'm going to grab my t-shirt guide because I have a 16 inch press. I will use, that is a 15 inch. Let me grab the 16 inch. <laughs> that is my rolly cart. So I roll it wherever I need it. 16 inch. Okay, grab our design. We're gonna take and fold it in half. There we go. Crease it. There we go. Line it up with the center mark on our t-shirt guide. We are about three fingers down from the collar. There we go. Okay. You see how pretty that's going to look? Now I'm going to cover it with a Teflon sheet. There we go. Okay. Heat that for 10 to 12 seconds. Okay. Now this one isn't a shirt that like a type of material that you can see the texture through. So we just kind of want to wait till it's cool kind of to the touch and sometimes I'll take like my shirt or whatever and just kind of wipe over it to help it cool and then we're going to remove the clear plastic layer there we go doesn't that look so good now I'm going to cover it again and I always like to do a final pressing just to make sure everything is down good. And we're only gonna heat this for about five seconds. That's all it's gonna need. 
but there you go. If you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we just did. Look how cute this looks. Isn't that beautiful? And see how that vinyl just sparkles? It's stunning. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all later. Bye.